Okay, everyone, we have uh, one of our head coach, Stephen Hart, here. If you have any questions in the room, we'll, we'll start there. Yeah, go ahead. Obviously a tough loss today, Stephen. Can you give us anything to what you think the, the difference in the game was? Well, not, it wasn't a tough loss. It was, it was embarrassing. We were, we were at home. Um, we didn't. We, we needed far too many touches to play. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't find the, the, the front players. And then when we when we did have possession of the ball, we, we gave it away uh, cheaply and, and paid the price for it. You know, um, we we sort of got caught up in playing in small spaces and. They were way more uh, aggressive, and uh, we sort of played into their hands. They won. They probably won every every 50-50 uh, battle out there to, to today. Just one more for you. Kareem came back today, Kareem. So, what did you make of his performance? I thought he, uh, for his first game back with the Wanderers, he looked really, really good. Yeah, he did. Uh, he, he did a good job uh, in, in a tough, tough game to do so. Um, you know, but uh, he, he needs he needs to play, and uh, it was good for him to get uh, to get the game under his belt. Uh, I know he'd be disappointed, um, but you know we just have to look forward to Tuesday night. Speaking of Tuesday night, it's a quick turnaround here. So how do you kind of move on and prepare the team to uh, get get ready for Tuesday after this result? Well, I think uh, we have to look inwardly. We, we, Owe our fans uh, an apology. Uh, we let we let uh, we let ourselves down, and um, you know if you if you uh, look at this performance and you're truthful with yourself, you you would tell yourself, look, we have to do everything to make amends on Tuesday. Just one last one for you, Coach Hart. There, six changes today. I think I counted. Was there any reason for that? Was that looking forward to Tuesday? Was that just recently playing a couple days ago, or was it more yeah, of a tactical? A little, a little bit of both, you know. Um, you know, in, in hindsight, you know, maybe maybe too many. But at, at the end of the day, there's no excuse for for the way in which we we, we played, how we approached the game. Uh, you know, we just we just weren't ready to, to play against a team that, that uh, quite frankly, I thought they were superb tonight. And uh, we'll take things over to Zoom. Charlie, I thought I saw your hand up. Uh, if you're ready, uh, go ahead with Stephen and it's time for a follow-up as well. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Stephen, I just want to ask about you know the, the changes that you made at halftime to the midfield. You know, it was 1-0 at that point. Just what was kind of the thinking behind that, and maybe did it not work the way that you wanted it to? Well, we, we thought we needed we, we needed to press a little more, and uh, Jeremy and Van Polisi are, are are good at that. Um, it, it wasn't it wasn't because of any sort of uh, performances uh, from from Pierre and uh, and Mo. And I know they're probably upset about it, but we just thought we needed a more energetic uh, press. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, they, we didn't we didn't play good. Uh, on both sides of the ball. When we had the ball, we didn't pass the ball well. And then when we didn't have the ball, we, we didn't defend well at all. And then one, if I may, about the goalkeeper. You, know, you went with Kieran tonight instead of... Is it difficult for a goalkeeper when you know they come in, they haven't played a whole lot, to play in a game like this where they're very busy and getting a lot of shots? Well, I mean, we, 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 we didn't you know we didn't say that when he, when he played against uh, Winnipeg. You, you know what I mean, and, and at the end of the day, um, he's getting a lot of shots because we didn't we didn't defend well, you know. Um, so I know he'll be he'll be disappointed with his performance, but really and truly, we have to look at the entire team. All of, you know, we have to look inwardly. And as I said, we certainly we owe the fans an, an, an apology. Um, Stephen, I guess just uh, what was the the balance in preparation for Toronto FC on Tuesday versus tonight? I mean, in all honesty, we weren't thinking about uh, Toronto FC uh, at all. Um, I, I don't know about uh, you know, sorry, the, the players' minds. Uh, I can't be in there, but we weren't thinking about Toronto FC at all. We have a few, we have a few uh, niggling injuries. We thought we would rest some players, give them as much rest as possible. Uh, at the end of the day, they, they, you know, they, I, I select the team. I, I accept the responsibility. Um, we, we just we, we just couldn't get the job done. Any more from you, Dylan? No. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Um, yeah, just like wanted to uh, follow that question that Dylan asked, uh, Stephen. Um, 
it's a tough result. But uh, my question for you is more like that defensive lineup is kind of like uh, new, like how they play today. Was this like kind of like an experiment that you were like planning in training before, or which is like kind of like why you say it was new? I mean, like we, we see Mateo, we had we had uh, Peter, we had Tavi, and they haven't played this season like together, like and especially in a team like Forge. That well, Tavi Tavi has mm -hmm. played. He just uh, he, he was just injured, and, mm -hmm. and uh, the only the only real difference was Saul Saul coming in, and, mm -hmm. and uh, Fernandez had a little injury. He wasn't in dress today, so we played uh, Mateo at, uh, at, at right back. That was the, the reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe Steven, just one last one for, for me and just a thought of maybe what Forge was doing well in this match. Well, I, I thought Forge just played the ball quickly and simply. They moved the ball very, very, part, uh, very, very fast. And, uh, you know, they were switching the play from side to side with, with good accuracy, good technique. They were, they were technically uh, at a different level than we were uh, in today anyway. Very much so. We couldn't, we couldn't get close. Could not get close. Hey, bro. We have uh, Kareem So here. Uh, if there's any questions in the room, and yeah, we'll start off. Just Obvi one for me, everyone, and then we'll go to Zoom. Obviously, a tough welcome back. But what did you make of your performance and being back at the Wanderers ground? It might not have been the result, but I'm sure there's probably some positives you could take from your performance tonight. Uh, I mean, I don't feel like we performed well as a team. We we were cut off mentally after the first goal. We decided to come back stronger in the second half. We started off well, but as soon as we got the second goal scored on us, it just sunk again and uh, we weren't able to get out of that. So overall, it wasn't, it wasn't a good team performance. Hey, Dylan, go ahead. Kareem, I just wanted to pick up something you just mentioned. You said caught out mentally a little bit on that first goal. It's not the first time you guys have conceded an early goal, especially here at home. Is that something that is where do you think that pattern comes from? Considering early goals. Yeah. In terms of the reaction, though, you said maybe it catches you guys a little bit. I mean, it catches us off guard for sure because normally at home is our fortress. It's where we don't lose points. So when we're at home, we don't expect to be caught off and get scored on first. We expect to win every game at home. So yeah, definitely when we're at home, it's, it hits harder than if we can see it away. It's a quick turnover here with another match here on Tuesday. Um, how do you kind of forget about this one and, and come up strong on, on Tuesday? Well, we flip the pitch right away. Like, we, we have to, we have to because Tuesday is a big game, so it's an even bigger game. I mean, every game matters, but we all know that playing against CFC is a big game for us. So, I mean, we have to. We have to realize that 4-0 is not something to, to joke around about, but at the end of the day, when we wake up tomorrow, we have to start a new chapter. When we get to training, we have to restart and get ready for tomorrow because it's a, it's a big game again, so we have to be able to do that. Turn things over to Zoom. Uh, any questions? Uh, Charlie, I'm not sure if you have anything for Kareem here. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kareem. We'll start things off uh, in the room. We have four GFC head coach, Bobby Smirniotis here. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Jacob. Yeah. Uh, I noticed you were playing a lot down the left wing there, first and second half. Was that a conscious effort to kind of exploit maybe an area that you thought was a weakness for the Wanderers, or was that just kind of how the game developed? Yeah, we knew that uh, at least one side was always going to be open just in having watched them in the past game, so it was a decision of the players to find that area. Um, so it wasn't that uh, it was specifically one side, they had to find that that area that we can expose, and, uh, and that's how it kind of uh, worked in that first half. You know, there's a lot of space on the right side, and Sissoko was excellent, and uh, and, and and looking at that, and the one thing we asked for the guys is uh, if that was the side that kept on being uh, there, keep on going to it until we get them to adjust, and I thought they did a good job. Any other questions in the room for Bobby? Yeah. Just last one. Um, the midfield battle, it seemed like you guys really kind of bogged down the midfield and made it really tough for the Wanderers to pass through your line. Can you give me a little bit of insight to how you maybe set that up, or was that another conscious effort to really kind of make sure that the strong point of the Wanderers team really couldn't get going? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when you look at the, the Wanderers, you know, one thing that's a mainstay in their, in their club is uh, Rampersen. He's an excellent 
maximum player is maximum player, but uh, can dictate sometimes the midfield and we knew it's important to be a little bit higher on the pitch and uh, try our best to, to neutralize him. Uh, and maybe that would give us an opportunity to pick off some of the passes. And I think our guys were actually quite better than picking off passes and, and winning a lot of balls in the challenges and gave us the quick transitions. Um, so that was uh, something that we looked to, to do and the guys were excellent in, uh, in going about their roles. Dylan, um, how much did you guys need this result tonight even though things have gone? Yeah, three, three points are always important. Uh, that's the, the biggest thing uh, you look at. You know, we've played, I think we've played some excellent football. The results haven't been there. And, uh, it's a little bit reminiscent of, uh, of how our season started last year uh, in, the, in the bubble in Winnipeg and even coming out of it where we were playing a lot of good football. And it's why I say it's a, it's a process and it's a long process. Uh, you don't get anything for the most points at the end of the year. I know that best uh, also from, uh, from last year. So you have to stick to your processes. You have to stick to your football. And if you believe in it, I think good things come from it. And uh, today I think it was a combination of us doing that. And uh, we've had a lot of uh, challenges with that. I think we've got seven or, or eight guys who can uh, who can start on any day in our in our team. We're back home in, in Hamilton today, um, so credit to the guys that are out there. You know, we just keep on going, and that's the most important thing. And I think you know, games like this and, and wins like this on the road in a very tough place to play in Halifax. Uh, we know that uh, through the history, short history of this league, it's a tough place to play. So if you get a win like you do today, I think it helps you move forward. Having having Rizard, I think, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Rizard Rama come in. Um, this was his first game. How big a piece was he for you out there in those first? Yeah, when well, you look at last game against Ottawa, we had no natural centre back, so it's good to get one in the in the lineup. Uh, he's come over, uh, trained this week, and uh, he's fit in uh, great with uh, with the group. He's a player that we scouted well and uh, we've watched very well uh, over the last uh, year or so. And the opportunity came up uh, to bring him over here. He's a quality player. Today. He's a small glimpse, but uh, this uh, young man is uh, excellent, and uh, we expect him to be an important piece to how we defend and, and also how we play. Thank you. Turn things over to Zoom if anyone has questions for, for Bobby. Use the uh, raise hand function. Uh, Dylan, uh, is there anyone with their hands up for Bobby? I'm not seeing any. Charlie, if you have anything for, for Bobby, I'll let you go ahead. Uh, I do, but I think Anthony has his hand up as well. I, I don't know if you want to. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, Anthony, uh, go ahead and unmute your mic. Uh, thanks, Charlie. Hey, hey coach. Um, was I, I guess another positive here was being able to, to bring on some guys after like the 60th minute or so, getting some of the young guys in there and having that cushion allowed you to do so, I, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, you look at things, there's different things we wanted to see. I think we needed to use some rotation at some point. Uh, you know, we also come into uh, an important cup game in the week. Uh, obviously, when you score some goals, that allows that to, uh, to be accelerated a little bit. Um, but I thought the guys went in there and, uh, and were excellent. Uh, you know, S uh, Sebastian Costello's gotten in there and shown the energy that he shows in training all the time. Um, you know, he's had an unfortunate spell a couple of times uh, with some little injuries and he's missed some periods. So it's good to get him uh, some minutes and a few of the other guys. Uh, of course, and the most important thing is we didn't, uh, we didn't lose a beat when they went in there. Um, and that's uh, the most important thing you want to see from guys. Because anytime you get the... You know, minutes on the field, you want to make sure, especially as a young player, you're out there and you're trying to impress your uh, your coach and you're impress your teammates, and the guys have done a great job with that. Yeah, and, and just one more, it, it looked a little different up front. With, I don't know if Taron was playing a little off, if he was playing more of a false nine type role. Was that was that part of the, the game plan? Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted with him. It's just uh, trying to find them one a little bit later in the, in the open spaces and just give him a little bit more space in and around the box. We know he's a, he's a clinical finisher. Today did a lot of great... Uh, work uh, maybe not so much in the finishing, but in how we picked up the ball and he started moving things around for the other two guys in front of him and uh, with uh, Schoenier and Walshman and just moving a different shape around. I think it's it's very important. You know, you have to have one tactical flexibility and you have to have tactical evolution, and that's important for for me and the and the coaches and, and for our team. Um, that on any given day we're going to play the Wanderers four times and everyone in this league. Uh, sometimes you have to show uh, everyone a little bit different and, uh, and not be the same week after week. Thanks, Anthony. Sorry for not seeing your hand there. Charlie, uh, go ahead when you're ready. Thanks. Hey, Bobby. Uh, you know, we, you, you've spoken before about this season. You, you know that your team had another year to get to, and I think we sort of maybe saw them step up a year tonight. But how encouraging is it for you to see kind of the chemistry growing in that attack and these guys sort of finding each other in both passes? Yeah, the one thing we've just asked is be sharper and be quicker. You know, uh, if you're not quick enough sometimes in the attack, what we've seen in a lot of our games is uh, 
there's a lot of opponents inside of a penalty area. Once there's a lot of opponents and there's not much space, uh, you know, we've seen that against Ottawa, Edmonton, and uh, against York as well, with teams dropping into uh, quick lower blocks against us. Uh, so we wanted to be a little bit better in our press, a little bit quicker in our in our counters, and and also when we had a set attack, it's just being quicker to get into the box. And if we can serve that ball, cut that ball, or, or get moving uh, a little bit better, you know that throws off the defenders and it makes it a little bit difficult uh, for them. Because once defenders set their feet, it uh, becomes a very difficult task. Whether it's uh, it's Forge, any team in this league, or or Manchester City, it's not the easiest thing to do in football. Otherwise, we'd see. Uh, Games like I think there was a hockey game that was 9-6 a couple of nights ago. We don't see much of those in our sport and uh, because it's a tough thing to score goals. Thanks, Bobby. That's it for me. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, everyone. Okay, any questions in the room for Henry Walshman and Jacob? Uh, can you just talk a little bit about your performance in particular and the team's performance? You scored a goal today, which is obviously nice, but more so you got the three points and a clean sheet. Uh, yeah, the team performance was what's important. Coming into this, we needed three points feeling a bit of pressure and we responded very well. The team came out with energy and aggressiveness and I think that was the difference. The football was the same as we've been playing all year uh, and I think that's what was the difference, the energy, the aggressiveness and the commitment to the battle first. The football showed itself on the field and we reaped the benefits of our performance. Uh, personally, of course, it's been a while since I scored a goal so that felt really good to get it. Um, but again, the three points was all that mattered to me. Here, go ahead, Dylan. Uh, Bobby talked a little bit about um, moving Taryn into the into kind of a false nine role today. It means something a little bit different for you. How was that feeling as opposed to previous games? Seeing T play as the the false nine, I felt we had a bit more of a, a target presence in there as when we played that position, that this formation before and other players have played there. They were more true center midfielders, but Taryn, as you can see, is, is much more physical than some of the other players that were playing that position. So he played that very well. Um, we were just looking to play off of his movements, off of his hold-up plays, and to be honest, I thought Dov, myself, and Taryn did very well in the, that front three. Yeah, go ahead, Jacob. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about your uh, your team, well, I guess the forwards attacking positioning today, because it seemed like for all four goals, you were just in the right spot at the right time and were able to finish pretty clinically and pretty easily. Can you just give me a little bit about kind of how you guys managed to get into those spaces and make sure that you put away those chances? All week, coach has been talking about how most of the goals at all levels are scored in the box. So we emphasize finishing our runs, getting into the box, being close to each other, in the box when we're building up plays. So you saw today a lot of the, all the goals were inside the box at close, close quarters. So we really worked on stuff like that. And our movements, our understanding of each other showed very well this, this match in particular. Any more questions in the room for Emery? Uh, uh, yeah, Carlos. Um, you guys got three points here away. It was very uh, important for the team to get this to advance in the table. Uh, you guys are facing uh, Montreal. I think in five days. Tell us about like how important was this result for you guys, for the local room, for what's coming for the team? Of course, for, for the team's morale, this game was very important. We needed to put a good stamp on the game, not only for the Montreal game, but just for the league in general, you know, to show us that we're still a serious team, still competitive, and we're not to be taken lightly. But for the Montreal game, it was very important for us to be putting the ball in the back of the net, also more so to not concede any goals. Uh, today we showed we had a very solid defensive performance and people won't see that. They'll see the 4 nothing that we are dominant offensively, but I thought that defensively we were solid back there and that is going to be the key to the Montreal game. Thanks, Carlos. So we'll turn things over to Zoom. Uh, Anthony, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, hey, Emery. Um, it, we, you know, obviously the names that scored up, showed up on the score sheet, that they're evident, but it looks like everyone had a hand in, in this victory. When you're, um, even the build up, you know, toward those goals and the passes through the midfield, when you're a striker and you're playing up there and you see that everything's kind of clicking, it, does it kind of give you that feeling like, okay, like this, everyone's locked in, I think we're gonna build to get some output today? Of course, to be, to be honest, we've had tons of games with that you know, where we were just missing the final product. I think against Ottawa, we had like 20 shots towards the net that sometimes it's just not there. 
but today we were more clinical in front of net, which I felt was is something that we've been missing. Also, our intensity, like I've said, off the ball, uh, winning the ball back, you know, the quick repressure was there today. But again, like you said, uh, we, I saw the team clicking a little bit more so than, than other games. And just the aggression and the desire we were showing to win the ball back, that's the difference today. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Any more questions on, on Zoom for Emery before we wrap this up? Seeing none? Okay, thanks, Emery. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks, everyone. We'll see you Tuesday.